The Fool's Journey <laughs> It is a bright morning with the sun shining and the birds singing. From the distance walks a rather foolish looking fellow, the sort of chap who's not really experienced anything significant before. As he wanders along with his dog, he whistles expertly to himself. and wonders what life will bring him along his travels. I wonder what life will bring me along my travels. His dog barks to warn him of the cliff that he's happily wandering toward, but the fool pays no attention. What could possibly go wrong? What do you get if you throw two drums and a cymbal off a cliff? A dum Ha ha, <laughs> still got it. It would seem that the fool's journey has begun to be continued. When the fool emerges, dazed from his fall, he finds himself in the company of a magician. Hopefully he'll saw the fool in half and I can go home. Hello there. Hello. Are you going to pull a rabbit out of a hat? No, I'm not that kind of magician. Oh, you prefer card tricks. Brilliant. I love card tricks. No, I'm not doing that either. Sponge balls? No. Make me disappear? No. Wet willy? What? No. Look, for the last time, I'm not some cheap conjurer. I'm the connection between the divine and the manifest. Oh. Bummer. The universe has sent you to me so I can teach you to tap into your willpower and skill. I don't have any skill. Everyone has skill. Even you. You just need to figure out what you want to do and then figure out how to do it. You have the power to achieve anything. All it takes is belief. Now bear witness as I become the conduit between the spiritual and physical realms. Uh, that was meant to happen. Now go forth into the world and fulfill your true potential with passion and confidence so you can see your desires manifested. Okay. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, it'll go out in a minute. Alas, the fool remains in one piece and can carry on with his journey. To be continued. Now that the fool has learnt of willpower and skill, he continues along his path and is soon faced with a mysterious looking woman sitting between two pillars with a rather posh looking veil hanging between them. Welcome. I'm the High Priestess, and I'm here to show you how to look within yourself for the answers you seek. Ooh, thank you. That's a very nice curtain. What's behind it? Never mind. Now shut up and listen. Have you spoken to the trickster? You mean the magician? Yeah, he told me to tap into my self-confidence and skill so I can manifest my deepest desires. Excellent. But without intuition and self-knowledge to guide you, you'll soon find yourself lost and without focus. You need to take control of your unconscious mind, or someone else will. Don't think about elephants. You see how easy it is for people to plant ideas in your head? Remember, you are not your thoughts. You are so much more. Now go forth into the world and follow your instincts to discover your true destiny. Okay, thank you very much. Can I think about elephants now? <sighs> the fool soon finds himself at a fork in the road. Hmm, which way should I go? Use your intuition, Luke. I mean, fool. Eventually, he chooses a path and continues along his merry way. To be continued. Having used his intuition to guide his path, the fool now finds himself in a lush garden surrounded with ripe, swaying wheat. In the middle of the scene sits a rather fruity looking sort, if you don't mind my saying so. Hello, and welcome to my earthly paradise. Hello. I am the Empress, but you could call me your archetypal mother. I represent all things connected to fertility, sensuality, and nurturing. Right. Should I call you Mum? You can call me whatever you like, dear. You've arrived at this place to master your creativity and appreciate the wonders of nature. Just look around. The world is full to the brim with magic. If only people could just pay attention to it. Take you. Who? Me? No, I'm talking to the dog. <coughs> of course you. You are a child of the world, full of ideas and potential. But you must nurture those ideas if you want to see them come to fruition. 
Planting the seeds of success is not enough alone. You have to water and take care of them so you can watch them grow into a magnificent reality. Pay attention to your emotions, fool. They might not tell you what you want to hear, but they will always tell you what you need to hear. Now go forth into the world and continue your journey with enchantment and sensuality. Oh, Mum, can't I stay a bit longer? No, you must complete your destiny. Besides, I've got a hot date. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. I'm off to find some clean underpants. To be continued. Having left the Empress behind, the fool soon finds himself walking up a very steep incline toward a place high in the mountains where a stern-looking gentleman sits on a stone throne, which in my experience is a very good way to get hemorrhoids. Welcome, fool. Oh, yeah? Here, it's a bit chilly up here. I wouldn't know. My body can withstand anything. I am the peak of physical perfection. Ooh, that must come in handy. Especially at your age. I beg your pardon? Nothing. Hmm, anyway, I take it you've been to see the Empress. Oh yeah, she was lovely. Lovely, yes, but sadly not representative of the whole world. If you are to complete your journey, you will need power and discipline. Authority is there for a reason, fool. The world would collapse without it. Hmm, bet you're fun at parties. What? Nothing. Hmm. Now tell me, fool, do you have the strength to achieve your goal? Dunno, I haven't really thought about it. Then you're drifting along with no preparation. All the goodwill in the world won't get you very far if you can't even look after yourself. Courage and vitality are what you need. You don't know what's waiting for you out there, fool. Better to be prepared than to be caught with your pants down. Right, I see. Now go forth into the world with power and effectiveness. Thank you, Grandad. What? Nothing? Hmm. Fortified by his visit with the Emperor, the fool sets out with a determined stride to see what will come next on his journey. To be continued. The fool makes his way down from the Emperor's mountain and continues along his path. Eventually, he finds himself wandering into a beautifully ornate church. On a throne sits a serious-faced gentleman in front of a pair of rather cretinous-looking fellows. Hello, fool. I am the Hierophant, the ordained messenger of God, and these are my acolytes. Hello. I'm Barry. No, you ain't. I'm Barry. You're Eric. Oh, yeah. Here we study and live by the doctrines of the Almighty. Tell me, fool, do you have absolution in your life? Don't think so. I had the chicken pox when I was a kid. Then it is time for you to learn all the systems and rules, which are available through me, and only me. Barry? Yeah? All right. I'm Eric. Who does the word of our Lord come through? You, your graciousness. For you are the ice cream and beef. I'm the supreme pontiff! Eric? Yeah? All right. I'm Barry. What does being the supreme pontiff make me? The spinal priority of kings in a cardboard box. I'm the final authority on all things orthodox. Now come with me, fool, and I shall educate you in the beliefs and protocols of our culture. There is a system to things that you have to obey if you're to make it out here. Society comes with its own set of morals, and these must be observed if we are to achieve divine wisdom. The fool follows the Hierophant and is taught the structures that make up the world around him. When they return, the fool has learned to become a fine, upstanding member of society. Right, so it's green shoes and yellow socks with black trousers and no more elephant impressions. Or at least pretend to be one. Now go forth into the world and remember to follow the rules and regulations. If you break them and get into trouble, don't come whining to me. What's that? Wine? Barry, Eric! Put the wine back! That's not for you! <laughs> the fool leaves the Hierophant to continue on his path with a new code of conduct. To be continued. With the Hierophant now behind him, the fool wanders into another delightful garden. An angel floats above a young couple who must have forgotten to get dressed this morning. Welcome, fool. Hello. Uh, you don't appear to be wearing any. We are clothed in the love and passion we feel for each other. Right. Tell me, fool, have you ever known true love? Oh, yeah, loads of times. Well, no, actually. To find true love, one must first learn to love oneself. Oh, I've done plenty of that. To seek out the dark places in your soul and bring them into the sunlight. To accept yourself unconditionally. Only then can you truly open your heart to another. 
The path of life is not meant to be walked alone. Yeah, I suppose it isn't. But love, love is not just about companionship. companionship. Love, love comes in many forms. The passion you feel when you express yourself. The excitement of a new day. The love of life itself. Love is everywhere. To be alive is to experience love. Well, you all certainly seem to be experiencing it here. I must say I'm feeling rather loved up myself right now. That's, That's good, good to hear. hear. Now, now go, go forth, forth into the world and spread your love to everyone you encounter. Give your love freely and it will grow and return to you in abundance. Remember, fool, when you fall in love with the universe, the universe falls in love with you. Gosh, thank you. The fool leaves the nudist gathering to advance along his path to be continued. Now that the fool has discovered the power of love, just like in the pop song, he continues along his path. Soon he reaches the edge of a rather splendid looking city. He stares in wonder at the towers and structures and is almost run over by a chariot. Hey, careful! I almost ran you over with my chariot. I've only just had it greased. What are you, some kind of fool? Uh, Not to worry, it looks like you've survived. Well, come on then, get up and dust yourself off, old chap. Right, yeah. Who are you? I am victory in all its aspects. I am the triumph of the human spirit. I overcome ten obstacles every day before breakfast. I laugh in the face of danger and pass water into the shoes of peril. I am the world's greatest champion. Wow, that sounds amazing. It is, but I certainly didn't get here by sitting on my ignoble behind, I can promise you that. I got here through the sheer strength of my convictions. These are my sphinxes, and they know all about my greatness. We should do. He never shuts up about it. So how can I become like you? To achieve greatness, one must vanquish all of one's foes. You mean the old woman at the grocery store who keeps giving me funny looks? No, I mean the enemies of self-doubt, hopelessness and insecurity. You need to conquer your mind to get where I am. And do you know what else you need? An overinflated sense of self-importance? An iron will, a belief in yourself that cannot be shaken by anyone. Now go forth into the world and grab it by the dangly bits. Really show it who's boss. Come, Sphinxes, let us be victorious once more! Oh great, here we go again. With a triumphant spring in his step, the fool returns to his journey. To be continued. Having been taught about triumph by the chariot, the fool now finds himself before a kindly looking woman who appears to be in the act of closing a lion's mouth. Rather her than me. Uh, excuse me, are you aware that's a lion you're handling there? No, I thought it was a zebra. Thank goodness you came along. All right, no need to be sarcastic. I ask a foolish question. So what exactly are you doing with Leo there? I'm calming him down. Tell me, fool, what do you know of strength? I know all about it. I've been to see the chariot. Not that kind of strength, fool. I'm talking about inner strength. The mental fortitude to quiet the mind when it's roaring like the savage beast. Well, I'm sure my mind has never roared like the savage beast. You've never lost your temper? You've never lost control when you believe you're being attacked by someone? Well, yeah, but why? Who's attacking me? I'll teach them a lesson. They'll regret the day they cross me. I'll get medieval on them. Shh. No one's attacking you, fool. You see how easy it is to get yourself worked up over nothing. You must learn to calm your mind when things get tough. Well, surely I need to look after myself if someone's coming after me. But how can you be sure that's really what's happening? Anger is the enemy of a clear mind. Violence begets violence. But to respond with kindness and patience in the face of adversity takes strength. Real strength. You're going to face all kinds of setbacks along your journey, fool. Let's hope you have the strength and clarity of mind to deal with them effectively. Now go forth into the world and face whatever comes your way with empathy and understanding. I shall do my level best. Thank you. The fool departs from the brave lady and the lion and is soon wandering up another steep hill. To be continued. Thanks to the lion tamer lady, the fool now understands all about inner strength. Soon he once again finds himself high up in the mountains. Whoa, I'm not making that mistake again. Welcome, traveller. What? Where did you come from? Just over by there. This is where I live, see? Well, I must say you're in a very high place. Oh yes, I can see all the wonders of the world from here. All the beauty of nature, the mysteries of the cosmos, the strength and courage of the human spirit. 
I see people triumphing in the face of adversity, helping each other, loving each other. Oh, well, that sounds wonderful. I also see hatred, torture, and bigotry. I see dehumanization, brother turning against brother. I see suffering for greed and profit. I witness humanity at its worst. Oh no, that's terrible. I must do something. Why do things have to be like that? This is the way of the world. Happiness and suffering, joy and misery, the haves and the have-nots. If you are to complete your journey, you must learn to accept this. You can't bring change into the world if you can't bring yourself to witness the injustice happening around you. But what can I do to make things better? I'm just a fool. That's for you to decide. You have a unique perspective on life. No one else can see the world through your eyes, only you. What you've seen here has come from outside, but now you must look inside for the answers you seek. I'll give you some time alone. The hermit leaves the fool to ponder on his thoughts. His heart filled with sadness at the darkness he has seen in the hermit's eyes. What's the point in carrying on? The world's falling apart, but I can't change anything. What power do I have? At this point, an idea pops into the fool's mind. Wait, that's it. I can't change the world, but I can change my world. With a renewed sense of spirit and purpose, the fool finds his way back to the hermit. Welcome back, traveller. Feeling better? Yeah, now I can see what I need to do. I must finish my journey and find my authentic self so I can make a difference in the world. That's more like it. Now go forth into the world and shine your light of authenticity so that others will be inspired to shine theirs. Change happens in a heartbeat, one person at a time. Be that person, traveller. Be the light of the universe. I will. Thank you so much. Well, it had to happen, didn't it? Predictably, the fool once again finds himself in a heap at the bottom of a mountain. To be continued. Now that the fool has experienced the introspection of the hermit, he soon finds himself faced with a large turning wheel, surrounded by what appear to be rejects from a village people audition. Roll up, roll up, roll up to the wheel of fortune. Try your luck and be a winner in the game of life. Ooh, is this like roulette? The prize is far greater than anything you'd win on those crude little games. Really? Wow, what is it? Why, a life of fulfillment and joy. The ability to accept all situations, good and bad, with grace and dignity. Oh, so no cash prize then? Let's give it a spin and see how you fare. Whee! Spin, 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 spin. Uh, and you're a winner. Lady Luck has taken a shine to you, my friend. You're heading toward the greatest prize of all. How do you feel? Wow, I feel fantastic. I knew I could do it. Woohoo! Ready for another spin? Definitely. I'm on a roll. Spin, 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 spin. Is that going to happen every time? And now you're a loser. Lady Luck has flown away and left you to your miserable, pathetic life. How do you feel now? Oh, no. What a bummer. I feel terrible. Change is happening all the time, fool. The people you've met so far in your journey have spoken to you about the things you can control. But what about the things that you can't? Life is a game of chance. Sometimes you're on the way up, and sometimes you're on the way down, but nothing stays the same for long. Such is the nature of the universe. Well, in that case, what's the point in me doing anything if I've got no control over the outcome? I may as well sit here and watch everything happen as it chooses to. Of course, you've still got control, fool. Triumph and tragedy happen all the time, but it's your choice what to do about it. You don't choose the hand you're dealt, but it's up to you how you play it. Imagine you're given a huge pot of gold. Oh, yes, please. And then you blow all the money on parties and false friends, eventually dying poor and alone. How about if the wheels fell off your car? Well, that'd be terrible. Which prevents you from accidentally driving it off a cliff, which is likely when you look at your history with cliffs. Well, I suppose that would be for the best in the end. Came brink down when the earth went down and I was penetrators. Right. Thanks. Oi, Leo, stop looking at Anubis's ass. I wasn't. I never did. 
Change happens all by itself, but progress is up to you. Now go forth into the world with positivity and try to see the good side of every situation. Let's spin the wheel one more time! Spin, 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 spin... And you've won a bout of explosive diarrhea! Alright, you can stop spinning it now. Hello, hello, hello. Let's be having you then. What? But I haven't done anything. Tell it to the judge, Sonny. The judge? What's this all about? Sorry, sir, we've run out of policeman cliches. Clap him in irons! Ah! It appears that fortune has farted all over the fool's porridge. To be continued. The wheel of fortune has spun for the fool and he suddenly finds himself arrested and put in the dock of a court. A judge stares directly at him. Court is in session. Fool, you are hereby charged with a heinous crime of hypocrisy. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honour. I've got no idea what you're talking about. It's a bum rap. We shall see. Exhibit A. When you were 12, your bicycle went missing, correct? Yes, actually. And I know full well who stole it. Tommy Pearson from round the corner. The thieving snake. He should be in the dock, not me. This is an outrageous miscarriage of justice. Yet two years later, you tried on a pair of ridiculously tight trousers at Dandy Dud's Emporium and walked out without paying for them. That was different. I was borrowing them to wear to a turnip competition. And which trousers are you wearing today, fool? Uh, well, those ones, actually. You broke your own rules, did you not? Yeah, okay. It's a fair cop. Exhibit B. When you were 15, you lost your temper with your then-girlfriend, Edith Braithwaite, because she, and I quote, spent too long talking to the milk monitor. Is this correct? Yes, it is. She was definitely flirting with him. I saw it with my own eyes. Yet two weeks earlier, you shared a bag of jelly jesters with Cressida Cummings behind the pig pen. That was different. She said she was hungry and I was worried about her health. You were feeding them to each other. Yes, she was uh, very weak. You broke your own rules again, fool. You see what happens when you judge others too harshly? Eventually, you'll find yourself being judged. The wheels of karma keep on turning for everyone. Yeah, I can see that now. I'm sorry, Your Honour. The court finds you guilty, fool. You are hereby sentenced to go forth into the world with fairness, abiding by your own rules and not judging others. Court is dismissed, and for goodness sake, buy yourself some new trousers. The fool has been found guilty of being a fool. Praise the Lord for the legal system. To be continued. Having just left the court of justice, the fool now finds himself in front of a peaceful looking man who also appears to enjoy hanging upside down. Just when you think you've seen everything. Hello there, what are you doing? Just hanging around. Is everything okay? Everything is just perfect. Right. How did you end up like that then? Who did this to you? I did it to myself. We do everything to ourselves. You can let yourself get upset about things if you like, or you can just let them go. It makes no difference in the end. What will be, will be. But what about when people are slandering us, telling stories that aren't true? Like that time Ezra Dingleberry said it was me who drew a willy on the mare's horse. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you find it funny. It's all funny. Life is a comedy from start to end. Why not just sit back, relax, and enjoy it for what it is? People will always play their games, but we don't have to play along. So why are you hanging upside down, then? Sometimes seeing the world from a different perspective can show us how absurd it all is. If this is my cross to bear, then I'll hang from it willingly. These little troubles lose all their power over us when we just surrender. If true enlightenment is what you seek, then you must learn to sacrifice your desires and your need for acceptance. And how do I do that? You can start by not caring what people think about you. This journey is yours and yours alone. You won't make it if you keep spending all your energy on protecting your fragile identity. None of that stuff is real. It's just in your imagination. I see. I think I'm going to do just that. This is my journey, no one else's, and I'm going to finish it myself. Wonderful. Now go forth into the world with clarity and understanding. Keep your eyes on the prize and don't let anyone keep you from your true destiny. I will. I think it's time to get back out there. Thank you, Mr. Hangman. 
The fool leaves the hanged man to his peaceful outlook and potential high blood pressure. To be continued. Once the fool leaves the hanged man, well, hanging, he next finds himself wandering into a war-torn battlefield. It reminded him of the weekend he spent in Wolverhampton. Riding across the scene is a fellow who looks like he's taken his diet a little too seriously. Greetings and salutations, fool. Ah, I'm gonna die. I can't afford to die. Have you seen the price of coffins? Fear not, fool, for I have not come to harm thee. Really? That fella on the floor doesn't look like he's doing too well. It's okay. He was asleep, so he doesn't know he's dead yet. Mind you, when he wakes up, the shock will kill him. Please excuse me. I understand this is a grave affair. Well, you've certainly got some killer puns. Only to lift your spirits. I'm trying to put the fun back in funeral. Humour is a dying art round here. Have you been to see the hanged man? Yes, he told me that I must sacrifice my desires. That was a dead giveaway. And of course, someone needs to take care of that for you. That's where I come in. Out with the old and in with the new. But these poor people. We represent different parts of your personality. I'm your beliefs and I'm certainly not going quietly. I'm your innocence. That's why I'm offering flowers. Remember the strength card? Right, of course. It's starting to make sense now. To be reborn, one must die first. Transformation means the end of the tired old habits, making way for something fresh. This is how we grow, fool. We must release the things that don't work for us anymore. Yeah, that's it. I'm changing. I'm becoming a new person. I can feel it. The king is dead. Long live the king. Now go forth into the world with a renewed sense of life. It's time to leave the old you behind. I will. I'm going to get straight back out there. I don't blame you. This place is dead. The fool leaves the grim surroundings and the skinny chap to carry on with his journey. To be continued. Following his encounter with the Angel of Death, the fool soon finds himself in the company of a different sort of angel, pouring liquid from one chalice to another with little regard for the laws of gravity. Welcome. You have come a long way, traveller. Why not rest a little while? Oh, thank you. I think I might do just that. What are you doing there? I'm combining two precious things to create something very special. Right. You know you've got one foot in the water. Your toes will go all wrinkly. Why, of course. My feet mirror my hands. Tell me what you've learnt along your path, Traveller. Ooh, lots of things. Skill, inner wisdom, strength, resolve, you name it. Now it's time to apply those things to the real world. In my right hand, I hold the element of water. This represents your emotions, always flowing and changing. These manifest themselves in your mind. In my right hand, I carry the element of earth, the physical realm. Your actions manifest themselves here. Okay, so why would I need to combine them? So you can become the real you. The real me? But I'm pretty sure I'm already the real me. I'm not an imposter. So you have never regretted anything? You've never looked back and cringed with shame or regret at something you have said or done? Oh yeah, sometimes I've put my foot in it or done the wrong thing. And would you say that was the real you? Well, no actually. Sometimes our emotions can get the better of us, causing us to act in a way that isn't in accordance with our beliefs. But when your inner feelings and outer actions are balanced with each other, then, and only then, will your life become one of perfect harmony. Right. So how would I go about doing that then? It's incredibly difficult. Oh, great. Come on then, tell me what I've got to do. Nothing. Nothing? I thought you said it was difficult. Sometimes doing nothing can be the hardest thing in the world. Knee-jerk reactions are so easy, they're almost automatic. But to step back and look at a situation before you react takes temperance. Right, well I'd better get out there and do, uh, nothing. Excellent. Now go forth into the world and continue your journey with authenticity. A harmonious relationship between mind and body will take you a very long way, traveller. I see. Thank you very much. The fool makes his way from the wrinkly-toed angel to embark on the next step of his journey. To be continued. After the balancing influence of temperance, the fool now finds himself in a very warm room surrounded by all sorts of naughty goings-on. 
Welcome. So good to finally meet you in the flesh. Ah! Do not fear me. I have been with you since you were born. Now why don't you say hello to my friends? Oh, it's you two again. I see you're still having trouble getting dressed. We don't need clothes for the things we've been getting up to. Hello. Uh, would you like a glass of wine? Oh, no thanks. I'd better not. Oh, come now. Just a little tipple. Let the devil take tomorrow. Look how far you've come at what you've achieved. You're on your way to a greatness that most people can barely imagine. Surely you deserve a little fun. A greatness people can barely imagine? Why, of course. Can't you see how special you are? Those people you've met along the way aren't helping you. You don't need them anymore. Soon you shall complete the great work and people will bow at your feet. You are the brightest light in the universe. Yeah, I suppose I am. Well, maybe just a small glass. The fool's head spins with sensation as he plunges deeper into the grip of vice and inflated ego. The devil looks on in delight. Soon the spinning stops and the fool gathers himself. Oh, I don't feel very well. I should probably move on. Oh, shame. Well, it's certainly been a sizzling night, fool. Do pay us another visit. Remember, I'll always be here for you. Come over here, hot stuff. Aye, the fires are burning tonight, pet! The fool leaves the den of debauchery and heads off into a stormy night. To be continued. Having left the devil's lair, the fool now finds himself caught in a spot of inclement weather. Blimey, I feel terrible. Must have been all that wine. And it's raining cats and dogs out here. I better find some shelter. That tower over there should do the trick. The fool takes refuge inside the tower. Suddenly, he's greeted by a familiar face. Hello, fool. Hello. What are you doing here? I'm everywhere, fool. And I've come to tell you to go home. What do you think you're doing here? You'll never make it to the end. But you said I was the brightest light in the universe. I say lots of things, fool. Just look at yourself. You don't have what it takes to finish this journey. Miserable little creature. What? At this point, the chariot appears from nowhere. This is turning into a bit of a free-for-all. Don't listen to him, fool. You shall be victorious. Victorious? You? Ha! Give it up, fool. Go home now while you still can. The court finds you guilty, fool. You see what happens when then you judge us too Ah, I can't take it. I feel like I'm losing myself. Perfect. Well, that was all rather dramatic, wasn't it? The fool now finds himself standing in a ruin. What just happened? Complete destruction of the ego. The walls of illusion have just come crashing down. Shame me that's happening in our house, though. I feel very strange. You are very strange. Almost like I'm floating away. The weight of your old self has been lifted. You've gone right down to your essence. But then, who am I? Suddenly, a brilliant light shines down from above. To be continued. Yeah, that's it. Don't worry about us. Following his catastrophic meeting with the tower, the fool now finds himself stripped right down to his core self and in the company of a lady who's stripped right down to her birthday suit. It's starting to feel like he's journeying through a lap dancing bar. Hello, fool. How are you feeling? Lost. I don't know who I am anymore. That's not such a bad thing. Isn't it? Can't you see? Now you are a blank canvas, finally free of the old you. All those silly habits and limiting beliefs gone in a flash of lightning. But it was absolutely terrifying. Of course it was terrifying. That's why most people will do anything they can to avoid it. You don't break free of negative patterns by sitting in an armchair. The whole business needs to come crashing down around your ears. You are a brand new person now, fool, with a bright future ahead of you. Yeah, I think you're right. I thought losing everything I know would be the end of me. Oh no, this is only the beginning. You are approaching the end of your journey, though. Yes, it's time to get back out there. 
Everything feels so fresh, and no one's told me to go forth into the world for a while. Maybe things will be different now. Exactly. Now go forth into the world with hope and aspiration. It's your time to shine, Fool. The Fool sets out with hope in his heart across a starlit landscape. But as the moon rises, he can't quite shake the feeling that something is wrong. To be continued. After his meeting with the star, the Fool now has a renewed sense of hope and optimism. Just in time for the moon to come along and spoil it all. Oh dear, this place is a bit creepy. Scared! Scared! What's wrong? Don't know what's happening. Too dark. Can't see. Oh, not you as well. For goodness sake, will everyone calm down? You're starting to freak me out. Can't. Too scary. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Oh, what's that thing coming out of the water? Shh. Peace. Be still. Okay, okay. Good idea. Let's all calm down so we can figure out what's going on. Now then. What exactly is crawling out of that pool? The nameless and hideous tendency. That which is lower than the savage beast. Scared! Scared! We need to get out of here. What's that path over there? The road into the unknown. And where does it lead to? Well, we don't know, do we? That's why it's called the unknown. It's not called the road into the known, is it? I see. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really fancy walking into the unknown. It's not exactly on my list of places to visit. But you must. If you let fear hold you back, you will be stuck here forever. Is that what you want? No, I don't. Then you must go forth into the darkness. Face your fears. The night is always darkest before the dawn. Right. Well, if that's the only way, then that's what we'll have to do. Here goes. By the way, how come that dog can talk but mine can't? Uh, 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 the fool sets off into the darkness. To be continued. Having encountered the suspicions of the moon, the fool sets out on the dark path into the unknown. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about this. I think I might have stepped in something. <laughs> ah! What was that? I don't want to be here anymore. Just as the fool starts to lose himself to fear, he emerges into a bright, sun-soaked landscape. Before him sits a child upon a horse beneath a huge, smiling sun. Welcome, fool. Oh, thank goodness. Where am I? In a safe place. You've faced your fears and come out the other side. I've come to shine my light into the darkest places of your soul. See now the path you've just walked. That was it. That's what I was afraid of. Things look very different when we can see them clearly. But what about that horrible noise? Yeah, sorry about that. We've been having some problems with the drains around here. How does it feel to be free of all the scary things, Mr. Fool? Pretty fantastic, if I'm honest. I feel like I could do anything. Such is the life of one who has shunned the light of consciousness upon the horrors that dwell within. Yeah, you're right. This is amazing. By the way, is that a horn I can hear? It sounds like you're being called. To the faint sound of trumpeting, the Fool ascends to the penultimate card. To be continued. Now that the Fool has met the sun and been delivered from darkness, he finds himself in the company of some very cheerful looking zombies. Above them floats an angel blowing a trumpet. I prefer Louis Armstrong myself, but there you go. Welcome, traveller. Hello. Do you know any Miles Davis? You finally arrived at the last judgment. But I thought I'd already been judged. I distinctly remember meeting the justice card. This is the final judgment, traveller. This is what you've been working toward all this time. Wow, so I finally arrived. Hello there. You guys are looking a bit pasty, if you don't mind me saying so. Yeah, all right. There's not exactly much sunlight where we've come from. And where was that then? These coffins, can't you see? We're all being resurrected. Resurrected? But I'm still alive. Have you forgotten about the death card and the tower? The end of the ego and all that. One must die if one is to be reborn. You've completed the great work. You've brought your conscious and unconscious into perfect alignment. Now you are one with the universe. Yes, I've made it. I've finally found my authentic self. 
I don't know what to say. This is incredible. It's about time I was getting cramp in there. And the humidity was playing havoc with my eczema. It's no life, I can tell you. I was much happier when we were starring in that thriller video. Glad I wasn't there. You've reached the end of your journey, traveller. And now is the hour of completion. There is but one card remaining. The dancer awaits you. The fool is off to see the dancer. I hope they're going to do the Charleston. I know that one. To be continued. Now that our friend the fool has finally arrived at the end of his journey, he has just one more card to meet. And guess what? She isn't wearing any clothes. I don't know why I'd expect anything else. Welcome, fool. You've travelled so far, but you've finally reached the end of the road. Three cheers for the fool! Hip hip! Oh. Perhaps there's just enough time to say goodbye to some friends you've met along the way. Oh no, I hate goodbyes. Has anyone got a tissue? Don't worry, you'll be seeing them again before long. Abracadabra, now go and make magic happen. Bye fool, don't forget to trust your intuition. Ta-ta my lovely, here's a packed lunch for you. So long son, be powerful and you won't go far wrong. Goodbye fool, see you at church. Parting, Parting is, is such, such sweet, sweet sorrow. sorrow. Keep, Keep your, your heart, heart open, open, my love. Godspeed, old chap. Let me know if you need any enemies vanquished. Stay strong, fool. Kindness will always win. Goodbye, my friend. Take your time and the answers will come. Be lucky, fool. You'll always be a winner to us. Justice has prevailed. You're free to go. Take it easy, buddy. Don't let your world turn upside down. Goodbye, traveller. Call me if you need someone to cut your grass. Stay balanced, fool. Think before you act. Have a diabolical time, fool. Take care, handsome. Hey, keep your pecker up. See ya. We're just off to the estate agents. Keep your light shining brightly and never lose hope, fool. Watch out for false fears, my friend. They'll only hold you back. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? No, probably not. Still, the outlook is bright for you. Take care, sunshine. Look after yourself, fool. You've certainly risen to the occasion. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. This has been the greatest journey of my whole life. How many have you been on? One. And now, my dear traveller, it's time for me to return you to the world from whence you came. Are you ready? Yeah, OK. Just one more thing. What did you teach me? Why, the dance of life, my precious child. You don't need to walk this path anymore. Now you can dance your way along, feeling the wonder in every moment and knowing in your heart that everything will always work out in the end. Now go forth into the world and be the greatest fool in the whole universe. I will. Thank you again. You're welcome. Thank God for that. He was hard work, wasn't he? Can I take my foot out of this pond now? Does anyone fancy a pint? The fool finds himself right back where he started, but now a changed man, full of wisdom, maturity and understanding. Wow, that was one hell of a journey. I've never felt better in all my days. I'm going to get out there and show the world the new me. Continued. The end. Or the beginning. Depending on how you look at it. So there we are. Thank you so much for joining us on The Fool's Journey. We've had a great time putting this together. If you'd like to take a deeper look at the cards of the Major Arcana, together with some absolutely terrible jokes, we have made an in-depth video on each card. You can find those on my channel or I've put a link in the description for the playlist with all the videos. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all the voice actors for their support and for lending their dulcet tones to this project. First of all, Lisa Marsh, who did the voices of the Empress, Typhon, Justice, the Lady Zombie from the Judgment card and the Woman Who Fell Out of the Tower. Tallulah Weekly, who played the High Priestess, Eve on the Lovers and Devil cards, Strength, Anubis from the Wheel, the Maiden from Death and the Dancer of the World. Jess Skidmore, who starred as Temperance, The Star and The Moon. Kyle Welch, who provided the voices of the Hierophant, Adam on the Lovers and Devil cards, and The Sun. 
David Reed, who gave us The Hanged Man and The Fella Who Fell Out of the Tower, Robert Grove, who was the male zombie on the Judgment card, and The Fool and Monty, who appeared as themselves. <coughs> and the dog, of course. Also, I'd like to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching, liking and commenting. It really does mean the world to us. So now we're about to embark on an even bigger journey through the minor arcana, kicking off with the Suit of Wands. I'm just making some new music for the project and working on some more animations. We're all very excited and looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you for joining us once again on Kippy's Quest. May the coming days bring you the strong desire to like this video, subscribe to our channel and to join us for the Suit of Wands. Until next time.